Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and what we've pulled up here is the official exam outline on uh, the Microsoft website. If you want to find this yourself, you just got to type in AI900 Azure or Microsoft, and you should be able to easily find it. The page looks like this, and what I want you to do is scroll on down because we're looking for skills measured, and from there, we're going to download the skills outline, and once we have that open, you might want to bump up the text. Uh, and so what you'll always see at these documents is a red text at the top saying, hey, we've updated the track. Azure loves updating their courses with minute updates that don't generally affect the um, outcome of the study year. Uh, but it does get a lot of people worried because they always say, well, is your course out of date? And I said, no, no, they're just making minor changes because they'll do this like five times a year. And so if there was a major revision, what would happen is they would change it. So instead of being the AI 900, it'd be like the AI 901 or 902. We saw that recently with the um, uh, the AI uh, 100, where it's now the AI, AI 102. I or 103, sorry. So, you know, just watch out for those. And if it's a major revision, then yes, the course, you would need a completely new course um, and it would not match. But for minors, it's going to be minute things. So if we scroll on down, and a lot of times they'll just cross out what they've changed. And this one in particular, they did not show us in detail. You'd have to read through the comparison. Uh, but we'll look at the new listing here. And work our way through here. So describe artificial or AI workloads and considerations. So here we're just kind of describing the generalities of um, AI. So prediction forecasting, this is because when we use auto ML, uh, prediction would be classification and regression and forecasting would be that real time series forecasting, I suppose. Identity features anomaly detection. So not a lot in the, the exam for this. So we, we touch on it briefly. Computer vision workloads, there's a lot of stuff under computer vision, uh, as you'll find out through the course. NLP and uh, knowledge mining workloads, conversational AI workloads. And again, these are all the concepts, not how to use the services. Then you have the responsible AI section. And so uh, Microsoft has these uh, six principles that they really want you to know, and they push it through all, all their AI services. So those are the six you'll need to know. They're not that hard to learn. Um, then describe fundamental principles of machine learning on Azure. Uh, so here it's just describing regression, classification, and clustering. We have a lot of practical uh, experience with these in the course, so you will understand at the end what these are used for. Uh, for core machine learning concepts, we can identify features and labels in a data set, so that's their data labeling service. Uh, describe how training validation data sets are used in machine learning, so we touch on that. Describe how machine learning algorithms are used for training. Select and interpret model evaluations and metrics for classification and regression. A lot of these, you'll encounter these in auto ML because it automatically does it, but we can see how it uh, does that, okay? Well, actually having to do it ourselves. Identify core tasks in creating a machine learning solution. So describe common features of data ingestion preparation, uh, feature engineering selection, uh, features of model training evaluation, features of model deployment and management. Uh, and then we have described no code solutions. So uh, auto ML, they like to call it automated um, ML, but really the industry just calls it auto ML. Uh, then there's the designer for building out pipelines. Here is where we see some changes. So uh, identify features of image classification, uh, features of object detection solutions. So semantic segmentation is gone, which is great because I don't even know what that is. <laughs> uh, so it's great that it's out of there. OCR solutions, and then you have uh, face detection. Then under com computer vision tasks, we have computer vision, custom vision, face services, form recognizer. I told you there's a lot around computer vision. Fit NLP, we have key phrase extraction, identity recognition, sentiment analysis, language modeling, speech recognition, uh, synthesis. This one doesn't really appear much. Uh, it's kind of a concept, not so much something we have to do. Uh, then there's translation. We have uh, NLP, more NLP stuff, so text analytics, uh, uh, Luis or Lewis. I'm not sure which way to pronounce it, speech service and text, uh, translator text. Uh, then down below, below we have a conversational AI, so building out web chatbots uh, and uh, characteristics of conversation AI solutions. Looks like they used to have telephone and personal digital assistants. Not sure why they decided to remove that, but I, that's okay. I think that's fine. Q&A Maker and Azure Bot. I really like this service, by the way. So yeah, there we go. That is the outline, and now we'll jump into the actual course.